here's something you can do instead of painting a home and I can't tell you how many times I mentioned this to someone they have no idea what I'm talking about even professionals in the construction industry don't know what I'm talking about I was just talking to a painter um, here's a guy with I think 20 years of experience painting and he he looked at me like what he had that blank look uh, of I don't I've never heard of it before I've seen it too many times when I mentioned fog coat that's why I'm making the video I think I've even made one more before but what the heck doesn't hurt to make another one um, realistically you're going to need a few tools you're going to need a bucket something to mix the uh, fog coat with and of course the fog coat materials and most of the time they can be found at lumber yards um, home improvement centers uh, building maintenance supply warehouses and then you will simply I know this is going to be tough you'll follow the directions right you'll actually read the directions and follow them and then you'll just mix the stuff up um, but there is one more thing you should have before you um, put the stuff in a container and that is a paint strainer these things work great just simply put the strainer in the bucket this is the same thing they use for straining paint and can be purchased at um, almost anywhere and if you don't have something like that you can always use a nylon um, but uh, I think these paint strain the paint strainers that you get uh, they work fantastic and they hold a little more materials than a nylon so I'd recommend getting one of the getting a, a strainer like that just simply a cloth um, with extremely small um, I don't even know what they'd be little small squares to let the uh, the water and the cement mixture through but to keep the clumps that are going to be blocking your Hudson sprayer and of course that is the reason why you strain these materials uh, so that you can just spray effortlessly with your sprayer when uh, after it's all mixed and loaded into the sprayer I actually like to double strain the materials so I put it into one container and then I strain it again when it goes into the Hudson sprayer so uh, you can always try that and these uh, materials will need to be sprayed on if you let it sit overnight you're going to get the cement mixture on the bottom and shaking it up all the time isn't going to work you might need to uh, mix it again uh, before um, spraying but uh, that could all be trial and error for you give you something to, to uh, process there last but not least simply grab the Hudson sprayer and start spraying the stucco and it realistically is as easy as that even if you spray the stucco onto certain things like the um, gutter downspout there you can simply wipe it off if it's metal however you might not have the same opportunity if you're going to spray it onto a sidewalk remember this stuff absorbs into the stucco it's a cement based product it will also absorb into other cement based products so make sure that you cover these areas with plastic or something to protect them and again if you get it on a plant hey in a couple of months the plant will uh, um, have some new leaves on it hopefully and yeah, hopefully you haven't killed it and uh, go from there I wasn't really worried about the plants but uh, definitely cover up any concrete um, or even wood anything that can absorb this these materials